If you need to back up computers outside of the local subnet on your network, you can add those to Retrospect using some of the advanced networking functionality. Go to the Retrospect menu at the top of the screen and go to Preferences. Then go to the Network Preference heading and click on the plus symbol under the Subnet Address section. Enter in the subnet address that you'd like Retrospect to scan and then the subnet mask and then when Retrospect goes to Add Machines uh, you'll have the ability to specify other subnets. You can also tell Retrospect to use something other than the default network adapter. This allows you to load balance your network clients so that all of your client traffic is not being forced to go over a single network adapter. By clicking the plus button you can specify which network adapter you want Retrospect to use when looking for machines on the network. We can call this our second network. And then we click Add. Now when you go to Add Clients, you'll have the ability to specify which network you want Retrospect to look on, as well as having your own set of subnets for each of the individual networks. If your network is blocking a subnet broadcast, you also have the ability to change the time to live for multicast. By clicking the Advanced button, you'll find an option at the bottom that says Multicast Time to Live. If your network supports IGMP packet routing, then you can have Retrospect scan for machines outside of the local subnet using network hops or a change in the multicast time to live. By going to Sources, now and then going to add we have two different network adapters available for us to use so we can use our default network or our second network and we can also specify whether we're going to use multicast or subnet broadcast to scan for those client computers